Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question Advantage Shuffle. Given two arrays A and B of equal size, the advantage of A with respect to B is the number of indices i for which A of i is greater than B of i. We need to return any permutation of A that maximizes its advantage with respect to B. Here in the example one, we can see that A has these elements and B has these elements. So over here, you want to arrange the numbers such that your A of i is greater than your B of i. So over here, B of i has a value of 1 and the value in A of i just greater than 1 is 2. So that would be filled with 2. The second value in B is 10 and the number just greater than 10 is 11. And so 11 gets filled over here. The third value is 4 and just greater than 4 is 7 and so 7 gets filled over here. Similarly with 11, 15 is greater and so 15 gets filled in the last place. This was a simpler example wherein we had all the numbers that were satisfying the condition. Now let's see the second example. In here for the first index you have 13 and the value just greater than 13 is 24. So we put 24 at 0th index, next is 25 and the number just greater than 25 in A is 32, so 32 goes over here. Then third is 32, now there is no number which is greater than 32 in this particular array and so that gives you a placeholder to place something that is not useful for your filling purpose. So you go ahead and see 11 and just greater than 11 is 12 and so you fill 12 over here. Now the number that is remaining from this array is 8 and so 8 goes in the place where 32 was there. So this way the advantage in A gets maximized and that's what we need to do in this particular question. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this question. I'm taking the second example that was given to us in the question and the first instinct that I get for this question is to sort these two arrays. So my sorted array A becomes this particular array over here and sorted array B is this particular array over here. But we also would need the index of the elements in B. We will see later how we can do that. Over here we can start comparing the indexes. So 0 with 0. Now since 8 is not greater than 11, we say that this cannot be used anywhere because all the numbers after this 11 are also greater than 11. So 8 would not be used over here. So this remains unused. And now we go to 12. Now 12 satisfies the condition that it is greater than 11. So we can take an array or we take the positions that were given to us in the array B and for 11 in our result we will put 12. Similarly for 24 and 13. So 24 is greater than 13. So in the place of 13 we write 24 in our result. And when we go to the next index, B has 25 and A has 32, which again satisfies the condition. And so we can write 32 over here. Now, when we go ahead, this A array goes out of bound, but we still have something in B. So here we need to go to the unused numbers that are there and start putting those. In this particular example, we only have one unused number, but in your example or in other test cases, you may have multiple unused numbers. So we need to take care of that also. So we'll see in the further part how we take care of that. For now, let's fill this particular number or the index for 32 with the unused number that we have, that is 8. And so this becomes our result array that we need to return. Now, we know that this is the case that we have. Now, what are the data structures that we can use? First thing is we need the original indexes for the array B that is there. Second thing that we need is sorting of array A and B. The third thing that we need is storing the unused numbers. And the last thing is the result array. Now what are the data structures that we need to use over here? For the original indexes we can use map of integer and queue. Now why we are using this? The integer would be the integer that is there and the queue would represent the indexes at which that is occurring. Since this is not sorted and since we are not said that there won't be any duplicates, so we can have multiple keys and present at different indexes. 
So in that case, we'll take map of integer and a q. Q because we need the order also. So as q would give us the insertion order or first in first out order, that is the one that we are going to use. Second thing is to store unused numbers. Over here also we need the order. So we are going to use the Q because whenever we have multiple placeholders where we need to put the unused numbers, we'll put those in the order in which they are occurring. So that would be given to us by the Q. Third is the array. So array would be a simple array, but initially we'll fill it with minus one because afterwards when we want to store all the unused numbers, that time we can see whether we have a value minus one and then at that position we need to fill the unused number. So these were the data structures and the approach was the one that we talked earlier. So let's go ahead and quickly code this particular problem. So firstly, let's take an integer n that would store the length that we are going to work upon. Second thing that we need to do is to store the indexes. So for that, we are going to take a map of integer and a q. Now we need to fill this map. So we'll go over all the elements in B. And if the value is absent, we'll need to put that particular value for the first time or else we need to take the Q out of it and add that particular index into the Q. So this does the filling of indexes and the values in B. Second step is sorting the array. The third thing and the main thing is to go over the array and find the indexes or the values that can be mapped. So in that case, we'll take i equal to zero and j equal to zero that we'll be starting with. And we also need to take a result array and we also need a queue for storing the unused numbers. One thing that we missed is filling this with minus one. Now we need to loop over each element while my i and j are in bounds. That is, they are within n. So over here we need to check if my a of i is greater than b of j. That means that numbers can be linked. So in that case, I need the index from this particular indexes. So my index would be indexes dot get b of i dot pole. And the result at that particular index would become my value of a of i. With this, I need to do a j plus plus and if that is not the case i need to add this particular a of i in this unused nums so i'll do add a of i and finally i'll do a i plus plus at the end once this is done i now need to iterate over unused nums and then add those numbers wherein i have minus ones in my result so fill the minus ones with unused nums so let's write a for loop for int index equal to 0 less than n and index plus plus over here. If result of index is minus 1, I need to fill that with the number from the unused nums. So that would be unused nums dot poll. And that's all. Lastly, we can return the result. So this takes care of ordering a of i where possible or adding unused numbers in q. And let's run this code. And this would be b of j because we are iterating b with j index and that just giving a perfect result let's try to submit this and it got submitted 
So the time complexity over here would be O of n log n as we are going to sort this array and the space complexity would be O of n as we are using this result array. So that's it for this question guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then keep learning, keep coding.